Hey guys, so this is a really short video today on Brownian motion, which is the motion that gas particles um, um, show. I forgot the word. There is a better word for that. Anyway, um, the motion that they 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 show as as they are in a container. Okay, so this comes this name Brownian motion comes from this guy called Robert Brown. So he suggested that gases were at a state of random motion. So he observed pollen particles to jiggle around or to seem to jiggle around for no apparent reason and uh, you can see the same effect by observing the smoke particles under a microscope now the reason why the pollen particles were jungling around or jiggling around was um, because they were bumping into the molecules of air and this made them move around for no apparent reason since the molecules of air are invisible so Robert Brown figured out that the movement of gases had to be um, random in such state because at least the effects that he could see was that particles moved in a random state. So this random bumpy movement of the particles is called Brownian motion and is due to the continuous and random bombardment by air molecules. So imagine that this is a gas molecule, this is the start, this is the end. The gas molecule to go from A to B is not going to do a, like a straightforward route or one that goes more or less in that direction but bumps into left and right and so on, but does something like this blue line shows, okay? So to go from one place to another, they will take a long time because they keep having random and continuous collisions with other air particles or gas particles, which will make them move around a little bit more, okay? Now, I know this is a little bit visual and is not easy for you to see, so you may be lucky enough to be able to see this under a smoke microscope. In my particular school, we only have one and it's not quite working, but if you, know, if you cannot see it really, there are two videos in here that are going to help you understand Brownian motion, okay? So one shows the experiment and what you would see, the other, uh, I believe it has an animation that explains again the actual Brownian motion, so it should make it easier for you, so check those videos. And just to make sure that I said everything that I'm supposed to, so if you want to investigate the motion of gas molecules, you can conduct a Brownian motion experiment using smoke cells viewed under a microscope. The Brownian motion is that evidence not just for the existence of atoms and molecules, but also their movement, which is random, okay? So this is all that you need to know for today. Uh, so up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!